And now the other thing that uh, that's uh, important to understand, and this is uh, the only thing that, uh, uh, from the imaging process perspective, that is important to understand, is how imager any imager works. So this is a diagram of how uh, DDI is actually reading every single block of data. <clears throat> so as you can see, the first thing. So on the left side is DDI, on the right side is a hard drive or SSD, and, and all the errors just show is process, so what is going on. As you can see, the first thing when DDI reads, either read any block or start imaging, it sends reset command. Okay, so reset command is sent, and then drive is resetting itself, and drive reports that reset is processed, and now it's ready by setting DRDY and DSC register, uh, bits in status register. DRDY stands, stands for d drive ready, and DSC disk complete. So drive is ready, and disk, disk seek complete. Okay? So, so it's every single block, or after an error, or, or, or uh, during the start of the imaging, it's always DDI sending reset, drive should abort whatever it's doing, okay, and get ready. So if for some reason uh, DDI send reset and drive doesn't become ready, you will get so-called drive ready timeout. So if you get a message, drive ready timeout, or drive is not responding, it means that uh, reset was sent, but the drive didn't report that it's ready afterwards. So it's definitely the serious issue, which usually refer to drive level issue, right? So this is one thing. And drive ready timeout, you can configure drive ready timeout in configuration, in configuration uh, dialog. Uh, some drives may have a very long time to become ready. For like I've seen Western Digital drives that uh, got ready just uh, in three minutes. So when you get this error, first thing you do, you can try increase drive ready timeout to five minutes, for instance, and wait. Who knows? Maybe the drive will become ready at some point. Okay. So that's why just the diagram that show you what means drive ready timeout. Then the next command would be when drive reported ready, then DDI said. A sent read block command. So this is when we imaging by blocks, right? So every single time when it send read block command, drive should report DRQ data request, okay, in ATA status register, and only then data is being transferred from a hard drive to DDI. So the timeout between when the command was sent and the drive reported the data is ready, this is this timeout called read sector timeout. This is one of, not one, it's actually the most important parameter to play with when you are imaging the drive, the most important parameter. Because as you can see what this means, this means whether DDI will wait for the drive to respond with data, or it will not, okay? So uh, this is a critical things to play with for every drive and why it's important. From, from one side, you can think of uh, why would I even limit this timeout? Because I want to get the data, right? So I would like to increase that timeout so that DJI would wait for the drive to respond. But the problem is with that is that some drives may take like 10, 20 seconds to respond on bad sectors, ending up with no data at all. And in this scenario, the worst thing is that the drive is trying, retrying, 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 so it's a very high stress on the drive. When it's trying, 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 and cannot read data, and then at the end of all, it responds with nothing. So that's why this drive ready timeout, drive uh, sector, uh, read sector timeout is important to play with. Uh, to make, to play it safe, you should be minimizing timeout. To, and to get more data, you have to maximize this timeout, right? And because DDI has multiple passes, 
So usually it has fast primary paths, where this read sector timeout is small. Its, its default is 300 millisecond. And secondary paths, where this uh, read sector timeout is high, is one second or three seconds. So the idea is, during the first imaging pass, because of read sector timeout is small, the DDI will drop those yellow blocks, right? When you have green, 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 and then, oops, yellow block. So yellow block means that DDI reached read sector timeout and skipped that block by sending reset command to the drive. And reset means that stop processing that block. Do not read it, okay? Drop it. We will get back to it later on. But at that point, I want to play safe. I don't want you to kill itself, right? We will just keep it for now and get me green stuff first. Get me good data first. So this is the idea. And I should, I should tell you that read sector timeout is, is the most important parameter in, with any imaging tool. You can even think of this uh, if, if any tool has read sector timeout, it's, it's more or less professional imaging tool. If there is no read sector timeout, it's, it's unprofessional tool from data recovery perspective, obviously. Correct? Because we want to control the process of what is being done after we want to read some certain block. As, as you can see, uh, if read sector timeout was reached, then DDI will go up to reset, okay, and move to the next block. So this is why you see green, 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 and then, oops, yellow, and then green, green, yellow, and so forth. Now, <clears throat> if, let's say, you see that all the blocks are going yellow, or you have yellow, 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 it's just occasionally one green, what it means? it means that you're dropping every single block, right? So there is ne no really reason to keep it going because when you see all yellow, you're simply skipping, skipping, skipping all the blocks. So what you should do, you should increase read sector timeout, right? You should give DJI more time to wait for the drive to respond for that block rather than skipping them with no purpose. So, <clears throat> so this is how you play with read sector timeout, trying to get, let's say, at least 50% of green stuff. If you have more than 50% yellow, then you have to increase read sector timeout. So that drive, so DDI would wait more data from the drive rather than skipping everything. <clears throat> uh, so this is a picture just, to, just, to, just for you to understand what is happening behind every, every blocks of sectors. 